Greetings, everyone. Welcome to Art Intertwined, Episode 5, presented by the Artist Guild of Anna Maria Island. This is Wendell Graham, your host, and I invite you to open up your eyes and imagination as we have another exciting episode showcasing the arts, history, and culture of Anna Maria Island and Manatee County. Today's journey is about the history on the island. The Artist Guild of Anna Maria Island recently celebrated their 30th anniversary by inviting their members to turn back time and paint scenes of Anna Maria Island as it might be in yesteryear. The artists did not disappoint. Titles such as Babes on the Beach, Old Time Fishing, Holmes Beach Betty, and Holding the Line are just a few of the delightful paintings you will see today. Keeping in line with the show title, Art Intertwined, we will hear from two writers and their interpretations of two of the Guild artist paintings. We will also visit the Anna Maria Island Museum and Historical Park and hear about some of the history and culture of the island. Now you're on island time, so sit back, chill, and listen in. Tin cans they call us, but what do they know? A simple life with friends gathering away from the cold. Convoying from north to south, gypsies we be, with gentle bay breezes, golf waves, no cares, no worries. Ah, just sand in our toes. A simpler life, yes it was then. Firewood, beaches, campfires, music and friends. Now those were the times way back when. That was a poem called Tin Can by Rose Peters and the painting, The Sandpiper As It Used To Be by Ginny Goggin. Interestingly enough, back in 1934, John Ringling built the Sandpiper Mobile Park for his circus employees in performance. And then now it's a resort co-op, resident owned 55 plus community. Caroline, my beloved, you left me too soon leaving me to our island refuge of beach and grassy dunes. As I pined for your touch, your wisdom, your grace, I sought out our dear friend, Captain Davis, to help me build a tribute to you, my wife of late. I longed for a place where I could sit and reflect our lives, your beauty, and open it to our island community. So my gift to you, a chapel of stone, a place of worship, reflection, a place to commune. Captain Davis, put muscle and might to build this tribute to you, my everlasting legacy so that others will always remember you. Until I am reunited with you, our Roser Chapel will have to do. My beloved Caroline, my wife, to you I remain true. That was A Note from Charles by Bill Walters. And the painting by Guild artist Bev Anderson was called Roser Chapel. Sharon Terrace is the artist of Beach Babes and Anna Maria Island City Pier. She wrote, built in 1911, the Anna Maria City Pier was the biggest tourist attraction in Manatee County until Hurricane Irma damaged it beyond repair. The new pier, bait shop and restaurant should be completed later this year. To me, it represents hope for the future of our island. The beach is what originally drew me to Anna Maria Island. Beach Babes shows two women strolling down the beach, which is one of my favorite things to do. The beach is constantly changing with the tides and weather, yet it is always the same in welcoming us home to the islands. Leslie Robbins, who painted The Sunbather, The City Pier, and also The Developer. She writes, This is The Sunbather. I love her outfit and the feeling of carefree for the time in history. Lord above, don't show too much skin. 
Next, she wrote, I like this view from the beach of the building at the end of the city pier, especially in the distance, the Sunshine Skyway Bridge, of course. One can never feast her eyes on too many palm trees. And last, she wrote, I captioned this one the developer, himself dressed in a three-piece suit and hat, very seriously pointing to land in the distance, most likely explaining his project to very interested proper ladies. Leslie Robbins. Our next segment is about the Anna Maria Island Museum and Historical Park, an island treasure for residents and visitors alike. Located at 402 Pine Avenue in Anna Maria, you can drive, walk, bike, or take the free trolley and get off at stop 1639, otherwise referred to as Crescent Drive and Pine Avenue. Once there, you'll become enchanted with this nonprofit, the history, the time period, the clothing, the bread, Yes, I said bread. So much so, you might even find yourself getting the chills. That's because the museum is housed in the former island 1920 ice house. The Museum and Historical Park's mission is to preserve the history of the island and its wonderful dedicated team of volunteers now and throughout the years continue to do so. Now, what do Native American fishing camp, a Spanish colony, Fig Newtons, and Roser Church have in common? The all-volunteer staff and docents of the Anna Maria Island Historical Society will give you the answer to that and so much more. Now let's tease you with another fact or fiction. Bell Haven Historic Cottage was fished out of the waters of Tampa Bay. Still not sure? Well, I'm not telling. If I did, I might get thrown in jail with no windows, doors, or roof. In Anna Maria, no less. You don't believe me? You'll have to visit the museum and park to see for yourself, but don't say I didn't warn you. Now I'm going to share with you a little secret. Yes, indeed, the outside grounds of the museum and park is a gold mine of historical nuggets. Boats, buoys, a milk can, shells, gardens, and coveted names of folks that care about preserving the history of Anna Maria Island. In this segment, we want you to take a little history tour. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the tour. And when you are able to visit this beautiful island in person, be sure to stop by 402 Pine Avenue and check out the Anna Maria Island Museum and Historical Park and get in the know.
Well, that's it for Episode 5 of Art Intertwined, presented by the Artist Guild of Anna Maria Island. This is Wendell Graham, your host, and we hope you'll return next Friday, the 18th of May, for Episode 6. In the meantime, stay healthy, stay safe, and have a wonderful week.